So let's have a talk about some terminology for the document-based database. So inside the MongoDB, um, instead of using the term tables, well, we still use the, by the way, we still use the name database for the entire thing. That makes sense. But instead of using the term tables, we use the term collections. So down here, it's kind of a, it's a pretty simple example, but consider that there's actually not only a single user here. I just didn't have enough space. You'll have a comma and then you'll have another user and another user and you'll just keep going with users, more and more users. So this is what we call the user's collection. And that's actually representing a single table in this case. So we just have mapped all of this inside a single collection that references these three different tables we have right here. So that's, instead of calling tables, we have something called collections inside the Mongo database. So instead of having rows, we call each single user for a document, right? So this is, think of this single user inside our entire um, user's collection. This single user right here, he's a document. So that's for each row, we call it a document instead of a row, because you can see there's a lot of more information in a document than there is in a single row. So that's, this is what we call the document. Then the last one we need is kind of the columns. What do we call a column inside this guy? There we have something called fields instead, right? So a field is each of these guys, let me just make some points here. A field is like this guy is a field. This guy is a field. The name, the category, this guy right here is a field, right? So we have fields instead of columns. So that's how we kind of use the same terminology between these two. Collections is a table, row, that's actually a document, and fields, that's actually a column. Now, if you want the full overview, you can go into this page right here. They made a pretty good explanation on the Mongo database here. And document, MongoDB, manual reference, SQL comparison. Here they kind of make the exact mapping term between the different terminologies. So have a look at that if you want to, but I just came, kind of gave you the, the overview here. So see you in the next lesson where we'll dive more into the Mongo database.